Welcome back everybody to another Moto Bob vlogs video. We're out today on the new 2023 Ducati Monster SP. First time actually on one of these new generation monsters, but it's been a really good day because we've actually been able to get out on both the um, the standard bike or rather the Monster Plus. And uh, yeah, then plenty of time on this new SP version. Gets a few trick goodies before we set off. I'll give it a bit of a doesn't actually let you fully rev it up in neutral. Stick it in first, pull the clutch in. So yeah, the Terminoni um, exhaust is one of the extras. When we first jumped on, I was thinking it didn't really make it that much louder. Uh, obviously it's got to be homologated for road use, so it's not going to be like race exhaust kind of full intense ferocity. Um, but actually jumping between the two bikes, there is a noticeable difference in tone. It's got a bit more bassiness to it. And what I really like about this exhaust is the sort of um, overrun, after fire, pops and crackles. And it's especially pronounced when you use the quick shifter and pop it down into first on the way into a corner. I don't know if it's just because the speeds are lower so you can hear a little bit more of it, but it really does sound rather good. Probably not going to be that audible to you just because I've got the helmet mic um, but yeah trust me it sounds good in fact it reminds me a little bit of my mini cooper which does the same thing when you put it in sport mode it's not really really loud um, but it just lets you know but yeah for anyone who's not familiar in the monster lineup you've effectively got three options now so a year or two back they updated the standard monster with this all new chassis uh, they got rid of the trellis frame in favor of the new uh, front frame aluminium kind of monocoque ethos that they apply to a lot of their other bikes. So yeah, the engine is a stress member. It's basically the majority of the structure of the bike. And then at the front, you've got a little aluminium front frame, holds the fork in place, and then a subframe and the swing arm bolted to the back of the engine. That's pretty much what this bike is like much like the Street Fighter or the Panigale or the Diavel V4 now. Uh, that was one of the weight saving measures across the bike that really did bring the weight down a lot. And I think that's in response to bikes like the KTM 890 Duke and stuff like that, that offers a lot of performance. Some of the same character with its parallel twin with a 270 crank. And yeah, the old monster was lagging behind, certainly in terms of weight and therefore agility and stuff like that. And so they completely overhauled it completely new visual design as well i quite like what they've done with it i like that um modern looking roundish headlight at the front it's sort of a nod to the classic round headlights of the previous monsters uh, but with the led daytime running light around the edge that gives it a bit of that uh, almost envy augusta kind of vibe and i mean that in a good way uh, so yeah I'm a, I'm a fan of what they did there that's the base model i get why perhaps uh hardcore trellis frame fans may be a little bit disappointed because that was such a signature design feature of the monster i mean plenty of ducatis over the years have used trellis frames but because it was a naked bike uh, you knew it was most apparent i guess on the monster and also because the appeal of the monster was like some of the exotica and prestige of the ducati brand but at a more affordable price point and so some of those like signature design features being included in that price i guess is what made it appealing but look it was in the name of making a better bike and to hold on to um, historical like legacy features like that just for the sake of nostalgia is gonna mean that your bikes get left behind. And it's not a retro bike, the Monster. That's not what it is. It's meant to be fast and fun, relatively accessible kind of naked bike, predominantly for the road. And it's meant to be good. And the Scrambler lineup does the retro thing perfectly well. So there was just no need to keep it, in my opinion. But let me know what you think about that. Um, I was gonna say argument, but that debate down in the comments. And you know, riding this Monster SP today and the Monster Plus, you've got to say that one of its strengths is that nimbleness and agility. And I would say the SP model, if my memory serves me correctly, 
you know, feels on a par or at least roughly on a par in that regard to the 890 Duke car, which is pretty much job done then. I'd like to ride them back to back. I'm, you know, that's a big claim because the 890 Duke car is one of my favorite bikes I've ridden on the road. I think it's so much fun. Um, so I'm not sure how they compare directly, but certainly this is a bike that has that sporty and playful and just generally, you know, fun and easy uh, riding characteristic to it. And so, yeah, seems to have hit the mark in that regard. Now, at the same time as launching that um, updated Monster, they also announced the Monster Plus. And so that's the second bike really in the lineup, but it's not a huge difference uh, from that base bike. So it does get the quick shifter as standard, the up and down quick shifter. Tested it out plenty today. Um, I think it performs a little better when it's singing a bit, the engine, but generally feels uh, nice and precise. And quick shifters for me always add a little bit of interest and fun to riding sort of sporty little bikes like this. It gets a fly screen on the front as standard as well. And it gets a slightly fancier paint job if I remember correctly, but it's not really like, like a huge step in spec. Well, the big step comes is with this new SP for 2023. So this bike gets a whole bunch of upgrades across the bike and the big one is probably the Olin suspension so you've got uh, a fully adjustable upside down Olin's fork and then a fully adjustable Olin shock as well and um, yeah there is a noticeable difference in well for me it feels quite a bit firmer than the plus which we've switched on and off today and uh, also you've got the adjustability of course but the other big thing is it's got uh, about 20 mil more length in the shock and that lifts the back of the bike so it really does make them feel very different to ride you've got a more laid back riding position on the on the plus and the standard monster an easier reach to the ground that more cushy ride and obviously lifting the back affects the geometry and it makes this a bit more uh, lively in the handling and sharper turning um, and it depends on what kind of riding you're doing i think for general sort of commuting and just getting about but you want a sexy ducati to do it on then maybe the the regular monster does the job but certainly for um more sporty riding then clearly this is the one to go for if you've got the budget to get hold of one but yeah this is the more uh, lively of the two certainly and i think it's a couple of kilograms lighter overall as well which uh, is obviously going to help also it gets brembo stylema calipers now i was looking at the two bikes before we set off and kind of thinking well how much of a difference is that really going to make the master cylinder is the same the hoses look the same it's just a caliper swap um, but as soon as i got off this bike which i rode first and jumped onto the monster plus and i rolled up to a, a junction there is a really you know noticeable difference in crispness and and power so uh, whether that's just the calipers or pads as well could be a factor uh, yeah i will say that again much like the suspension with this being more lively and um crisper generally uh, you've got the same thing with the brakes it feels more sporty then you've got the moto gp inspired uh, livery on top of it so some sort of uh, color blocks along the side that does make it look a little more special and of course with the yellow shock and the gold fork that plays into the more uh, racy image and the obviously the carbon finish on the silencer as well and the little sort of grills on the back yeah the whole package on this sp model just has a bit more of that premium look even the brakes, even the stylemas, you know, you're looking at it. If you know your bikes, you're probably looking at it thinking, yeah, that looks just a bit more exciting. Genuinely really enjoyed this SP today. Uh, it's my kind of bike where it's in that sort of 100-ish horsepower range. Uh, that means you can have a lot of fun with it on the road, but it's not too serious. The riding position's not too serious either. Just feels like a really good road bike with very uh, impressive components and features. I haven't delved into the electronics too much, but there is plenty to, to go out there. Just had it in sport, to be honest, and tried to enjoy the bike for what it is. Um, the only thing is the price where there's a big difference between a standard monster and something like a Street Fighter V2. Uh, but with the extra money for the trick bits on this, the price is getting towards Street Fighter V2 money. And I think if I was, you know, I was down the dealer with the deposit in my hand with this bike i'd be probably testing a street fighter v2 just to be sure that uh you know i didn't want one of those instead it maybe would be worth the extra little bit of cash for that but probably that bike is going to feel a lot more serious and aggressive whereas this is just like a little playful bike lots of fun and so i think for me it just does the job 
quite nicely and definitely one to look at for sure. There'll be a full review over on the main channel, so check those out if you're interested. And also, if you're new here and you've just stumbled across this vlogs channel, then um, this is more on the bike, off the top of my head kind of stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. See you in the next one. We've got loads of great launches coming up. Street Triple, Transalp, CL500, a few BMWs to ride soon. Uh, so yeah, definitely give us a sub and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.